Hey Energy fans, I'm Brent Skarkey with your Mass Mutual Oklahoma post game report. Your Oklahoma City Energy back at home to take on the Seattle Sounders 2. OKC coming off a road trip to Portland. They didn't play very well. Had a full week of practice specifically to work on the offensive flow to make sure they get more opportunities. It worked. Seattle, a team that came into this game playing very well, a win over Portland, the team that beat Oklahoma City, and a win and a draw against Vancouver. So no easy task for Oklahoma City tonight at Taft. Cody Andrews back in the lineup after sitting out last game with the yellow card suspension. Andrew Craven in the lineup as well, talking to his former teammates with Seattle Sounders too. Danny Gonzalez actually playing back tonight. That was a twist in the lineup. The guy that really made a ton of difference, Kyle Hyland. He started off the highlights in the second minute. Hyland to Koenig, just high. Then to the 11th minute, it's Kyle again, this time dialing up the long distance, hits the right corner, 1-0 Oklahoma City. We'd been working on the crosses on, uh, on Saturday, um, and I hit that in. Unluckily, it didn't get over the first guy. I was able to get on the, the end of it um, outside the box, and they all backed off, and I was able to get a good look and ended up working out. To the 39th minute, double yellow card, Koenig and Aflalo, Highland. The shot, Charlie Lyon, the block, 1-0 OKC with the lead at the half. Second half, Seattle comes out firing. Off the free kick, Irvin to Vic Mansouray. The tip in pass, Lorendi. Second goal of the year for Mansouray against Oklahoma City. Ties the game at one. Then to the 59th minute, OKC bounces back. It's MT with the long ball to Linus Olsen on the breakaway. Olsen, pass Lion, 2-1 OKC. Um, it was uh, MT who got the ball in the middle. And uh, yeah, we had talked about it a lot. I was going to play that ball and I went deep and I got along with the goalkeeper. So that's Just put it in. 61st minute, OKC's defense shoring up. Dylan Remick, Lorendi the huge diving save. 86th minute, OKC a chance to put a nail in the coffin. Koenig the miss and then into stoppage time. So many chances for Seattle and they capitalize with 15, 20 seconds left in the game. This one ends in a 2-2 draw. I think overall we played a very good game. You know, it's not always about what you deserve and you don't deserve, but I thought we deserved more than the, the point today. I think we played really well, created a lot of good chances, uh, played some good, attractive soccer, uh, worked extremely hard, uh, feeling really bad on, on the players' behalf right now. They're sitting in there heartbroken. We didn't want to go home uh, without any points tonight, so we pushed it a little bit the last five, ten minutes trying to get an equalizer, thought we had possibly a PK. Um, ref didn't call it, but we continued to play and continued to push. Went with three in the back and we were able to get, you know, that tying goal in the last, you know, minute, 30 seconds or so. So, proud of the guys. Yes, the draw is a tough pill to swallow, but if you remember, same thing happened to Seattle when Oklahoma City came calling back in Washington at the beginning of the season. But you know, this is, this is soccer, you know. Uh, we're in the same situation when we scored in Seattle in, in the last second, but when it happens to you, it's it's painful, and right now it's painful. And uh, what we got to take away with, with this game here is the the performance. You know, I think the performance were there to to three points, scored two great goals, and, and had chances for for more. It's definitely disappointing, and I mean everyone's pretty quiet at the moment, but. Um... At the same time, I mean, we did play well. We did create a lot of chances, and there's stuff to build off for this game. And I mean, we got three more games to playoffs, and the more we build for playoffs, the stronger we're going to be, you know, in the playoffs. So it'll be all right. Oklahoma City now 10-5 and 12 on the year with a Real Monarchs loss last night. Oklahoma City could have locked up a playoff berth with a win tonight. That doesn't happen. They'll have to wait till their next match next Sunday at home against Swope Park. Tickets are available for that one. Give us a call 235-KICK. Also, energyfc.com for more information. Of course, we'll be here all week long leading you up to the match with all the highlights, the reaction, everything you need to know about your guys in green. With your Mass Mutual Oklahoma Post Game Report, I'm Brent Skarkey.